Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I got another video about the fidget spinner box today and it's had a couple more mods. I just wanted to talk about one that's the most obvious you probably see right here. It's now got a spring on the side that uh, you can also use to generate noises. Um, additionally, you might see a couple screws down here. I'll talk about that in a second. And then probably the most aesthetic change you might see is these little pickup rings. Well, that's the first thing I did. So a couple of you had noted on one of the previous videos that it looked like the pickups were crooked. It's not that they were crooked, it's that my cuts, when I cut out for the pickups, the cuts were not very straight. So I found these pickup rings and just put them on top of there. They fit perfectly with a P-Base pickup. And then it covered all, all my sloppy cutting and now it looks really nice. Then I also noticed during that video, there's a couple times when I would spin one of these and the door would kind of want to pop open. So what I did is I just took a piece of scrap wood and I glued it along the bottom here and I put a couple countersunk screws there to hold it in place. And then I can just screw these right into that piece of wood so that they don't, you know, you can hold it upside down, they don't come open. Next thing you notice, there's two jacks up here. And the reason for that is I ran this to its own jack. Now, originally I was gonna mount a three-way switch here because my original idea was I wanted you to be able to switch between the spring, the spinners, or both. But what I found as I was building it, the signal strength of the spring is just not anywhere near as strong as the signal strength here. And I think it's because you've got this fairly heavy piece of metal swinging over this magnetic pickup, produces a pretty hefty signal. Over here, I've got a piezo pickup inside here that's picking up these vibrations from the spring and it just doesn't provide a whole lot of signal. So they were very mismatched. So then the next idea that I had, I was like, well, I could take the pickup here, the base pickup, and run it to an attenuator so I could put a pot right here so you could turn it down a little to match. But then I was like, well, I don't think I want to do that. I'd rather turn this one up. So I could build a little amplifier circuit, put it right here with a little attenuator to you know match the level. I may do that in the future, but I didn't have the right parts to do that. So I just said, you know what, heck with it. Gonna put two jacks in there and mix it outside the box. So anyway, I'll let you hear it in just a second. One other thing I wanted to show you, one of my favorite things to do with these little like springs like this, take a guitar pick and just kind of, you get the coolest sounds out of it. So anyway, for the rest of this video, I'm just gonna do a quick clip with this to show you kind of what um, this thing can sound like. And I'll send this through um, a delay and a reverb. So it's just the straight sound, you know, being mixed for level and then going through delay and reverb. Here's what it sounds like. Thank you. 